really sorry that it hurt your feelings. You said I'd make a good hooker. I meant like undercover. And then you grabbed my ass. <sighs> I bought you donuts, got sprinkles and everything. I'm gluten free and I can't eat that. Fucking Los Angeles. Actually, it has to do with the lining of my small intestine and absolutely nothing to do with where I live. Listen, how about you and me? How about we just start over, okay? It's really nice to meet you, rookie. Hi, I'm Jessica Ryan, and I'm your new partner. Kane, Officer Lily Kane. I care about uh, keeping people safe, you know, to protect and serve. And let's fix it. The uniform is a big hit with the ladies. So, are we sticking out anything in particular? Why do you have to be like this? I'm not being like anything. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing right now. I've been a couple whole lot longer than you. Crime happens everywhere. Um, so there's a lot of crime that happens in these McMansions? Drugs, prostitution. Yeah, they shoot a ton of porn out here in the valley too, but that's, that's legal. Uh, technically they're supposed to wear condoms, but do I look like the fucking dick police to you? Relax, Officer Ryan. The crime will come to us. See, what did I fucking tell you? Afternoon, man. Hi, Officer. Come over here. Do you know why I'm stopping you today? I'm hoping to improve NAPD community relations by wishing me a good day. Be nice, but uh, not today, ma'am. Do you see a crosswalk anywhere around here? Jaywalking? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't make the laws. I just enforce them. We're just here to protect the people. I'm gonna search your bag. I, I don't think you can do that. <sighs> Nothing here, but... Uh... Do you really think that this is necessary? Listen, rookie. If you don't want to help, it's fine. If you want to play bitch cop, go sit in the fucking car and stop interfering with my police. <sighs> I'll go play the motherfucking bitch cop. Oh my. I'm gonna finish this part though. Are you sure this is all necessary? You gotta do things by the book, man. I think you and I have a mutual friend in common. Big old tits, good fuck, goes by mom. I bet I mom was pink in my purse, her bones would have had me that a long time before you stopped me. Well, I can't just let you out. Pardon me so much. No, officer, of course not. That's a friend of mine. Wait, so me. Like I said, I don't want any trouble, officer. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Hey. You don't need to arrest her. I already worked this out with her. I don't care if you worked anything out with her. She has a kilo of pink in her purse. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, her side of the story. She has some cartel shyster her and she hasn't talked yet. What about you? I haven't said anything, but if something does come up, I'm not gonna lie for you. Some partner you are. Don't put this on me. This is your fucking mess and I'm just trying to fucking clean it up. You know, it's not all about making the arrest. 
Prison is just a revolving door that turns petty offenders into hardened criminals. She was a pretty girl with her whole life ahead of her, and I, I gave her a chance to turn it around. <laughs> so that's what that was. Because from where I was sitting, it looked like you were just getting your fake dick wet. What can I say? The ladies like the uniform. Uh, do you ever stop this? Stop what? This whole bullshit act of yours. I have no idea what you're talking about. You are completely corrupt. Both of us know that. Right. Here. I'm not coming on to you or anything. But if you need some help taking that stick out of your ass, I've got a lot of experience in that department. Just stop. Just stop fucking talking. with the cops. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention to the news? Police brutality is totally in the season. Stop. <laughs> so there's a couple bad cops out there. I'm sure you're not like that. Yeah. My dad was a cop. And I've always known I wanted to wear this uniform. <sighs> Put me with this partner. <sighs> Sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. You don't have to. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Waitress? Can I have a glass of your Cabernet and whatever she's having? Sure, I'll bring it right out. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. It's the least I could do. I'm sorry your partner's giving you a hard time. She is the worst cop I have ever met. She lives for the completely unjustified strip searches, and it only gets worse from there. That's terrible. Thing is, <laughs> the brass doesn't even seem to care. She meets her quotas, she's fun at parties, and nobody ever seems to notice. She only ever arrests me. It's hot out there for cops like you, just doing their jobs. It means it, really. I don't ever feel appreciated. I would love to show you my appreciation a little more directly. What are you doing with the rest of your evening? I'm not sure. How about I help you take your mind off a couple things? I don't usually. Who cares about what you're doing right now? Excellent.